Hi, my name is Tabo and today I'd like to show you how to get started with Jenkins on your own Windows computer. We'll start from scratch by first installing the required software. We will use Git as our version control tool, Tortoise to have a user interface for Git and obviously Jenkins. We'll then set up a local Git repository to store our files and we'll finally create and run our own first Jenkins pipeline. Let's start with the installations. We'll first go to git-scm.com slash download and look for the Windows option to get the Windows installer for Git. Installing Git is pretty straightforward. You just follow the dialog and you'll be fine. Now Tortoise. Go to tortoisegit.org slash download and look for the 64-bit version to download the installer for Windows. Again, the installation is pretty much straightforward. Just click through the main installer. Afterwards, you'll see a first start wizard and be sure to complete that as well. Last on the list is Jenkins. Head over to jenkins.io slash download and look for the Windows option to download the Windows installer. The installer will ask you for your Windows username and password. Please provide this so Jenkins can run tasks as your user. The local system option comes with a lot of pitfalls, so I don't recommend choosing that. Since Jenkins runs a web application on your local host, it requires a free port. You can stick with the default unless you already have some other application uh, that is using it. Jenkins also requires a Java runtime. Most people have that anyway. If you don't, you can get Java online and download it. Once the installation wizard has finished, your browser will come up and load the Jenkins web UI. Since it's the first time that Jenkins starts, there are a couple of things you need to configure. You'll first need to unlock Jenkins. Open the file indicated on the screen and copy its content to the clipboard. Paste the contents into the text field and hit continue. The suggested plugins are usually a good set to get started with. You can always add more plugins later and I'll show you how to do that in just a bit. The final step to prepare your local Jenkins is to create your first user for the web UI. And that's it. Now the preparations are complete. And I'd like to install the Blue Ocean plugin now because it just looks great. Go to Manage Jenkins, Manage Plugins and select the Available tab. Enter Blue Ocean into the search bar, scroll to the bottom, select the Blue Ocean plugin and hit Install without restart. The plugin manager will now automatically pull the required dependencies. Next up, we want to create a local Git repository. This is incredibly easy, actually. In order to do that, I will just create a new folder, call it my repository, for instance. And inside that folder, I do a right click and select the option create Git repository here. This is coming from Tortoise. And that's it. We've created a local Git repository that we can now use with Jenkins. Now we've done a lot of preparation work, but it's time for the good stuff. Let's create our pipeline. In order to do that, we will create a new text file in our repository and call it Jenkins file. That's the name by convention. Inside that file, I will open it with Visual Studio Code. You can use any text editor. And I will paste my pipeline content that I've prepared. And my pipeline just has three main stages. And in the first stage, the checkout is being done, so the files from our repository are checked out. In the second stage, the existence of a file mycode.c is checked. And if it's not found, the build is marked as unstable. And the third stage is basically doing a dummy deploy. It will print some message. Unless the build was unstable, then this stage will be skipped. Let's save the file and commit it to our Git repository. We will need the repository URL shortly, so copy it from the address bar and go back to Jenkins. To let Jenkins run our pipeline, we need to create a pipeline item and tell Jenkins where to find our pipeline definition, which is uh, the Jenkins file. As mentioned before, I'm a big fan of the Blue Ocean UI, so let's open that and hit the start button to run our pipeline. It finishes pretty much instantly and we can see that, as expected, 
the build stage has been marked as unstable because we checked for a C file that doesn't exist and the deploy stage has been skipped. I'll go ahead and add a new text file which I call mycode.c which is what our pipeline is looking for. And also I'll commit that to the repository. When we start another run we can see that all the stages are now successful and the deploy stage is no longer skipped. Very nice. In summary, we've installed the required software, set up a local Git repository that we can now use with Jenkins, and we've created a pipeline that we can easily modify and experiment with. I hope this video motivates you to get started with uh, Jenkins, to get some hands-on experience, and take a look at the documentation to learn more about the pipeline language, or reach out to the community in case you need help with something special. Thanks for watching!